Sightless Magistrate is a 4 mana 5 4 with a battle cry that makes both players draw until they have 5 cards in hand. So obviously with an effect like this, you want to be playing a pretty low curve, and the recent introduction of Knights of the Frozen Throne actually helps quite a bit with that, even though there's no Demon Hunter cards in that set. Uh, notably, we get Prince Kaliseth, which is good because other two-cost cards are a bit expensive for what we're trying to do here. And then we get some pretty good cheap stuff with things like Acherus Veteran and a Snow Flipper Penguin to fill out the deck. The Magistrate also lets us play some heavy card draw synergies, things like the Quest, which we're never completing, but at a couple points in the game it gives us a bunch of free mana, and the Ironbound Brute, which is pretty cheap off of just drawing for the turn and then potentially drawing 5 off the Magistrate. Shockingly, I have started out 5-0 with this deck, so maybe it's actually pretty strong. Alright, I think Warlock might be a bit of a tough matchup, because they do just play a little bit too much removal. But we can try to make something work. Alright, we got a Sightless Magistrate already. And I think I am supposed to just play Acherus Veteran on turn 1 here. It does die to a lot. Oh wait, this isn't even Renathal. Wait, is the deck I'm thinking of usually a Renathal deck? It was last time. But anyway, this is just M4 lock, right? Uh... I guess this is probably responsible. And then hopefully next turn I can draw something that I can play. Well, I don't know, my abusive sergeant sucks a lot. I don't really know what I'm hoping for next turn. Okay, they left me something to do with my abusive sergeant, which was nice. Alright, so next turn is Magistrate, and I get a discount on everything I draw. That's so strong because it makes me draw one less card. I think this is still the play, though. Oh, I can dispose of this Abyssal Curse, maybe. I guess just winning on board is kind of good when I have Battle, uh, Battle Fiend and the 5-4 as well. And then I'm not sure what I do next turn. Usually you do want to get the Magnifying Glaive in play before Crixus. But Crixus is a 7-7. Seven, seven. So I might just play it here. Insane draw. Well, that draw makes me feel a little better about playing Crixus. And I think I do want to kill Flame Imp to protect Crixus from Abyssal Wave. And it also just protects my Battle Fiend for a turn. This is the nightmare, because I can't really protect anything against uh, Abyssal Wave when they do this. But I can push, what, 13 damage? Not a great draw. Abyssal Wave does take my opponent's entire turn here. Maybe I should have played around Tamsin. I could have done that, huh? That is not the Tamsin I was concerned about, but maybe I'm still dead to it. I guess if they just have Dragged Below... It full clears me here. If I get full cleared, I could just draw into lethal with Crixus, though. Very annoying that my opponent has this card. Oh, Kurtris is an extremely good draw, though. Kurtris probably... Hmm. These curses deal so much fucking damage, though.
The curses deal seven. If I play Kurtris, I go up to 13, so... I'm actually not dead to another curse if I just play Kurtris. Yeah, I probably just play Kurtris then. I do probably still just lose the game to Abyssal Wave, but Syracus Cultist is beatable. I win, right? Unless I don't know how to count. I win! Beautiful, beautiful victory. Let's keep this hand. Early Magnifying Glaive with Final Showdown can be really, really strong. And a zero mana card to go with it, the Dispose of Evidence was an insane draw. It's possible that I could draw three with Magnifying Glaive on turn two with this hand. Okay, never mind. Oh, I don't know why I didn't play Snow Flipper Penguin. That was stupid. Probably just going to miss one damage for such a foolish play. Do I not hit with my weapon here? I think it's best to not hit with my weapon here. Because then I can get a discount with uh, the quest next turn. Although I don't really know how much that matters. Need a bit more spice over here. I don't think my deck does particularly well. Oh wow. Um, I don't think my deck does particularly well against other spammy decks. And that does appear to be what I'm up against here. Well, I think I'm supposed to chill again. Kaliseth is extremely good with Magnifying Glaive into Crixus, though. They've got a Recruit. They've got a Battle Ram. They're kind of popping off over there, I will say. Okay, Peasant should be fine here. There's no way to cast a double Dispose of Evidence this turn, I'm pretty sure. So, because I have Crixus, I do think I'm still in this game. Without Crixus, my hand would look pretty terrible, I would say. Also, if for some reason they choose to let Peasant live here, they're just more afraid of this stuff, or they want face damage or something, if they let Peasant live here, then I can get another quest proc next turn. But that's obviously pretty unlikely. Peasant does not live, which is, you know, not surprising, but it could have. There was a world where Peasant lived. 
Oh, that's not the best draw. Maybe it's okay, though. I mean, it's almost as big as Grixis, right? Okay, picked up Fertress. Uh, overall, I would say the draws I just hit were actually pretty fucking terrible. It's fine making that attack. It's kind of hard to draw a lot off of it when I have Virtuous and Crixus in hand. And like, I have another Glaive, I have another Sightless Magistrate. Kind of just want to deal with the board. And uh, I also wanted to buff up this Kartris so that I had four power demons, which could one-shot the Warhorse Trainer. Uh, if they kill this, though, I'm not going to be able to kill the Warhorse Trainer. But maybe that's fine. Oh yeah, I am, because I can attack with my hero since this is discounted. And I could attack with my hero anyway, because I have a Tusk Piercer. So let's just do this. Still no real reason to equip the Tusk Piercer. Alright, and I think I'm winning... Maybe? It's pretty close. Alright, I am a little scared now. This brute. I guess I just play the brute. Probably should kill this since it can get Divine Shield. Um, I don't know. There's probably, there might just not be anything my opponent can do about the Brute here. And if they can't deal with the Brute, they're just dead on board. They weren't dead this turn, were they? I think I missed, what, two hero powers and a Fury? Seven damage. It's kind of close to lethal, but not lethal, obviously. All right, well, with the uh, Battle Rams, they can deal with this. But, uh, actually, they might be okay taking the 7 from the weapon hit. Chose not to Divine Shield their two minions there. Uh, they're at 9 here, though. I have 9 damage. All right, the Demon Hunter Mirror. Now, the Legion's rage pales before mine. Tusk Piercer, I think, is probably worth the keep. Yep. So, there's probably not much reason for me to final showdown here, right? Eh, they probably want to hear about her this turn anyway, but like... I don't know, it's kind of hard to find a turn where Demon Hunter doesn't want to hero power because their hero power is so broken. Um How is this even possible? So I don't want to actually break the Tusk Piercer anytime soon because it's just gonna give me one less draw off the magistrate. Maybe I just equip this or just play this. Can I afford to miss the damage though? What if I just hero power? Like almost everything I could draw into next turn would be playable anyway. 
Get fucking poked, idiot. You thought you were safe at 26? Now you're at 25, kid. Someone's down below 20. Okay, that's a lot of stuff in play. I wish my opponent had less stuff in play. Excellent draw for the turn. Okay. Hate to hit Crixus since I could have drawn it off the Tusk Piercer, but whatever. Oh, I can toss it and still draw it off Tusk Piercer, though. Abusive Sergeant for sure is coming down. My opponent's at 15. This does more damage next turn, so there's no reason to play it here. And I don't want to... Do I want to hit with my weapon? No. No. Because next turn, I can dump all my shit, shuffle the Crixus into my deck, play Magistrate, and then draw Crixus. What a find. Yeah, that's the play. Pretty sure that's the play. The opponent is only at 10 here. I think I have 8. Oh, I hit the Crixus again. Come on. Come on. So here's the real question. Does Abusive Sergeant ever find a target? No way, right? So... Probably just play a 0 mana 1-1 one, one here. I do have 4 damage next turn with Glaive Hero Power. It's not... It's certainly not impossible for Demon Hunter to heal. And there's a heal, but if they do this, I probably just play my own Kurtris. I wouldn't mind drawing one of those. I guess it would still be one off lethal though, so never mind. I'm feeling pretty comfy at 28 even though I did leave basically 10 power in play. Even with the damage I got in here, though, I don't necessarily have lethal from hand, which is kind of a bummer. Because I assume both of these die, and I will only get one hero power in, so five damage. I knew I should have put Elven Archer in my deck. Uh, I was going to say that's annoying, because I want to play Crixus. But maybe just drawing cards with Crixus is kind of fine. Alright, how much mana... I definitely want a hero power, so one, three, six, seven. So I guess the peasant dies, but that's fine. Simply a low class minion. Uh, 
I probably could have done some math here. My opponent's showing 8, 16. I could maybe die this turn, but I don't know if I really had another line of play. The opponent's at six. I have eight. Got him. Up against Demon Hunter, that makes Peasant quite a bit less good. I think I'm down to full toss here. I have so many one drops, I'll end up with something, and I want to find Kaliseth, Magistrate, Magnifying Glaive. Oh no, not Aggro Demon Hunter. I think this matchup might be a bit stinky. But hey, they're going to have to pick a target. Okay, well, I guess they don't have to pick a target. Hmm. I don't really want to throw my Snow Flipper Penguin to its death. That's a good one. Oh, I probably should have just played Fury here, actually. Yeah, I should have just played Fury here. But that's okay. My opponent's drawing spells, and I'm drawing buffed minions. Surely I come out ahead on that. Why? Alright, I'll just do what I should have done last turn. Now with much, much worse results, because my opponent gets a 1-2 out of it. Actual good draw detected. Probably a little bit too far gone this game, though. Oh, is Ironbound... Oh, the Brute is playable. Oh. It's playable, and this is winnable. And I drew double Click Clocker, which is nice. This is so winnable. Especially with the other Magistrate, although I did give my opponent a bunch of cards, too, but... That's okay, none of their cards could possibly be as strong as the Ironbound Brute. Okay. Dumping a lot and taking a lot of damage to get through this Brute. Okay. They're at 15. I have a very good shot at lethal here. And I believe that is it. But let's draw some more cards just for fun.
Oh my god, I cannot believe I won that game. 